From the Phoenician settlement more than a thousand years ago to its port, food and stunning beaches, Welba simply oozes history. Columbus set sail from here for the new world, but today our exploration is purely sporting, because we've reached the quarter-finals of the 2021 World Championships, Badminton's Best are ready for battle. A very warm welcome to the Carolina Marin Sports Palace here in southern Spain. Is the center of the badminton world for the next three days as we build up to crowning our 2021 world champions. You will see every shot in every match today live. Two courts uh, we're covering and we're going to be focusing here on court number one. And we've got some phenomenal matches to show you. Here we go, here's the lineup. What a start. Two Olympic medalists clashing head on. World number one Tai Zhu Yin against the 2019 world champion PV Sindhu. Amazingly, it's their 20th meeting. Kadambi Shrikant and Mark Kalyu have never met until now. The Indian starts favourite against the Flying Dutchman. Mixed doubles to follow. Malaysians go and lie with it all to do against world number one pair Puma Anyukro and Terra Chanatai, fresh from their hat trick of wins in Bali. And then we've women's doubles. Top seeds Chen and Jai flying the flag for China against the double Bali champions Matsuyama and Shida. Before an absolutely mouth-watering battle between two of the best women on the planet, En Seyun and Akana Yamaguchi meet for the third time in less than a month. And we can't wait. And I say we. My name's Trevor Harris. Alongside me, Steen Pedersen. Couldn't really ask for a much better lineup than this, Steen, could we, on quarterfinals day? Uh, this is going to be really, really exciting, I think. Uh, a rematch from last World Championships between Sindhu and uh, Tai Chi Ying to begin with. And then the uh, women's singles between Anse Young and Yamaguchi also mouth-watering and um, a lot of good matches uh, coming up today. We watched Tai Chi Ying yesterday and she dropped a game. Uh, against Kirsty Gilmore. Any concerns, or may maybe she just got a little, just lost the concentration a little, maybe in that match? Uh, that's going to be uh, 
the that interesting thing to um, to see here, uh, what kind of uh, shape uh, Tai Chi Ying is in. She hasn't played since the Olympics, uh, so obviously uh, recovered and rested. The question is how much practice has she been able to put in in her quest to uh, finally get a World Championship title. Well, there's the confirmation of that head-to-head, 14-5 -head, in Tai Chi Ying's favour. That last meeting, of course, at the Olympics, where Tai Chi Ying won the silver in the end, having lost in that three-game epic to Chen Yu Fei for, for the goal. Do you think that match is going to have any relevance to this one, Steve? Will it still be fresh in both players' minds? Um, it will be, but uh, they've played each other so many times, so they know this is a new match, this is uh, new playing conditions, and I think that's going to be um, uh, the most important thing. Hi, so you first became world number one uh, at 22 years of age back in 2016. There's that game that she dropped to Kirsty Gilmore yesterday. In fact, she was she was 20, uh, 12 down at one stage, got it back to 2019, and then Gilmore won the next point to take it. But it was yeah. pretty comfortable for her in that in that deciding game. And PB Sindhu. Olympic bronze in Tokyo, silver in Rio and of course the 2019 world champion she's a top 20 player at 17 of course and it was a welcome return to form for her really in uh, in Bali when she got to uh, the final of the world tour finals and he lost to NCU there's her progress and pretty comfortable to be honest it's a good win with Chokiwon uh, because she's been playing quite well of late too she has, but she's also been playing a lot, and um, Ready yeah, to play. eventually uh, get to you as a player. We've seen that across the um, disciplines here in uh, World Up, that uh, some players are a bit more tired than others. Fabio Beto of Italy is going to be our chair umpire for this one. And he will be uh, supported by Jakob Sinberg of Denmark, who is the service judge. Just coming up to five minutes past ten local time in the morning here in Welva, there's uh, the there's service judge, there's Jacob. And we are just about set for action on what could be a, an absolutely epic day. Three courts have come down to two. Now we've reached the quarter final stage. We are covering uh, the second court as well. Every match live there also. So you've got complete choice to watch Every single match, whichever one you would, uh, whichever court you prefer. We are on court one here for Sindhu against Tai Zhu Ying. And the uh, chair umpire, Fabio Beto, just about poised to introduce the players. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Pusarla Venkata Sindhu, India. And on my left, Tai Tzu Ying, Chinese Taipei. Tai Tzu Ying to serve. Level play. So here we go, first shuffle here in anger on quarter final day. Tai Tzu Ying serving. Over one low. Beautifully in the corner there. And it's over one oh. Another error of judgment. Two, one. From Sindhu early on. That landed in. Well played. 
Good impression on uh, Tanasha Ying from the uh, front court area. That shot here. Oh. That is perfect. Lots of pace on it, but uh, not possible for Cinder to intercept. Uh, sorry, for Ty to intercept. Yeah, she's uh, she's very clever with that deception. Uh, Three, Ying. It's absolutely fascinating this because what we've seen early, Sindhu wants to attack. Every opportunity. Taizu Ying, certainly yesterday in the first and third games Four, against Gilmore, two. was completely dominant. Definitely why PV seemed to struggle a little bit here in Five, the uh, beginning. Two. Left a couple of shots on her own back line that was in. Had a miss hit. Overhead shot from the, the back cord and now this wide right. Oh, that was hit with venom straight down the middle, rather at the body of Sindhu, who could do nothing about it. This is Six, just the start two. that Taizu Yun would have wanted. A little bit of good fortune, but she'll take it. Six. Yeah, we've never really seen any player saying, oh, that was too lucky, you, you, you take it. Well, actually, this week I've seen quite a few players not even put the sort of customary yeah. hand up to acknowledge, because yeah. everyone knows they don't mean it. Everything. They don't mean anything. Happy insight. They've got the point. So very polite to apologize even though you don't mean it. Oh, she's really come out flying, so I see you. Service over, 7-3. And even though it's very early on, it's a worrying start for Sindhu and her army of supporters. She's playing a bit short. Uh, PV Sindhu, I think she's afraid of... Eight, um, three. ...putting too much pressure on the uh, backcourt of uh, Tai Su Ying. Risk of putting it long, there's a slight drift alongside the court. From Sindhu towards Tai Su Ying. Nine, three. She hasn't really settled as yet, the Indian. And it's over 10 4. Only played for five minutes and we're on the verge of going to the interval with um, Tyson Ying in a commanding over position five, ten. in this opening game. Long. Six, ten.
Chuck. <laughs> well, that was almost uh, an exhibition, wasn't it? An exhibition for about six minutes. And it's 11 6 at the interval. And the woman from Chinese Taipei in control as we stand in this opening game. Ying has won her last four matches against PV Sindhu, including Court one, 20 seconds. in the Olympics, Court one, obviously. And that was a fairly comprehensive victory, 21-18, 21-12, on our way to that silver medal. Eleven six. It's amazing to think, actually, the first meeting between these two was more than 10 years ago. Play. It was at the uh, Vietnam Grand Prix Open. Taizu Ying won in three games for the record. Amazing to think, a decade on, they're still right at the top of the sport, having showed so much promise as teenagers. But she just looks like the aggressor in well, virtually every point six. thing, doesn't she, at the moment? Yeah. That, is, that is her style. She wanted to control the rallies, um, Tai Su Ying. Not the tallest of players. and uh, She needs to put pressure on her opponents so she can uh, rule out some uh, replies, some corners on the court. Like, a shot to get a reverse slice. Well, she's five inches shorter than her opponent, Tai Su Ying, but standing tall at the moment in this opening game. Another perfect shot, literally millimetres over the net. Expecting and straight down the line that smash there from uh, over, the Olympic silver medalist. Good shot. Over, nine forty. Again, successful in uh, putting pressure on the. Uh, you can't really call it a cross lift, 40. but it, it is a cross lift. It's just very flat. It has to be accurate in terms of uh, height. Chevy Soba, 15, dead.
body. And <laughs> you could almost see the deception on the body of Sindhu there. Dead. That's several times she's used that weapon. Yeah. I don't think she's actually missed one yet. No. Good shot. Service over, 11, 16. Came back on trying to the inside. It's over 13 17. first game here I don't think my feeling is that Sindhu is not too concerned about this she's playing with the drift here and it would always be uh, really tough for her to win a full game playing this near side of the court where she can't really put pressure on the back court that was too short but uh, Tashi Ying missed it so, so being within four points 18. is actually not that bad well, especially after the start she had. Yeah, exactly. And I, I feel that this has been Sindhu, uh, uh, Taishi Ying's game entirely, but um, she's not that much ahead. Of course, if the chance occurs, then Sindhu would try to steal it, but um, I just feel that it's still too big a lead. That's a good shot. And there's the pressure. Excellent yes. play. Excellent play by PV Sindhu. So now just three points in it. She did pretty well to stay in the point for as long as she did. Ties so being there under that kind of pressure. That was never coming back. Comeback's well and truly on now. Yeah, it is now. She's within striking distance. 16, 18. going to save. Just Sin one. Uh, if Sindhu did win this game, it would be a, a hammer blow to tie Su Ying psychologically. Yeah. This little piece of good fortune, from her point of view, at just the right time. Thank you. Service 
Quicksilver, 1916. Sometimes the gods are against you. But still, Tai Si Ying has to get across the line here. Black. If she is going to get there, Tai Zi Ying, she's almost crawling towards it rather than sprinting at the moment. Momentum with Sindhu. So three game points to take the opening game for the world number one. And it was a little bit of a struggle towards the end, but she gets there 21 points to 17. And Sindhu will have to regroup the game two, but certainly signs towards the back end of that first game that she's more than capable of getting back into this. 17 minutes the opening game. I think it's cold enough here in the arena. I get shivers just thinking about it. Yes, there, there were some sightings of you wrapped up in a blanket. <laughs> Second game. Oh, okay. So here we go. Oh. Second game. And Cindy playing catch up here. Play. Uh, we, we're going to see uh, Sindhu trying to put a lot more pressure on Tai Chi Ying's uh, backcourt now here in the second game. Tai. With the technical skills to control the drift, but perhaps taking a more uh, aggressive, a little bit more aggressive stance. to cope with playing with the drift is um, to play a lot downwards to the front court from your what? own backcourt area and then mostly target the backcourt of the uh, opponent from your own front court area it seems like it's a little bit easier to control lifts from your front court than clears but so far Tai Chi Ying is doing a great job I think it was the right shot, just got too much on it. Trying to Third create that really one, acute four. angle. Four. 
no way that Cindy was getting there had it been more accurate. No, and that's one of the uh, difficulties playing Tai Su Ying. You know that uh, she's almost under any circumstances capable of playing all four corners on the court, so you can't really uh, exclude one of them. You have to put her under a lot of pressure to be able to do that. Smash uh, PV Sindhu, and um, of course, Tashi Ying's got to respect that. So, variations are good for uh, PV Sindhu. Yeah, she might have easily left that earlier in the rally. In the end, pay for it. Terrific shot from Tai Su Ying. That's diving defenses like this that Sindhu hopes to uh, get back and uh, prolong the rallies. Force Tai to make um, more high quality shots and hope that uh, she doesn't have yeah. that particular capacity today. Beautifully done. Four, yeah. three. It's out deceptive, PV Sindhu. So I see with so many possibilities. That's the way to do it. Service over. smash. Oh. Totally left stranded there. Five, four. See where she's standing, covering uh, the net and the backhand corner. Beautiful shot by Sindhu. Well, another uh, little bit of good luck there. For the world Five, number one is that kind of brush the top of the net. And just fell over, trickled over. Some damage with those shots. Six, five, yep. Really, uh, it's good when she gets in control of the rally. You can almost see it on footwork uh, with PV Sindhu. How uh, much the deception spite. Yeah. 
beautiful shot. Wow, she got it back. She got that back as well. She made a very late decision to even play it, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, what a chance. She knows it. She opened up the court and then missed the sideline. Well, that, that was an early Christmas present for Sindhu because she had a massive margin for error there. Yeah. Thank you. That is, um, in my opinion, the Indian game plan to get a little bit more back than that Thai is uh, comfortable Six. with. Oh. That's a demanding uh, game plan and... Uh, I think it needs to be mixed up with um, control and uh, pressure shots like we've seen from the net area. A beautiful cross from her forehand. Off what a lift. Another opportunity squandered. Opportunity, but um, a lift quite flat from uh, Tai Chi Ying and difficult for Tor PV Sindhu to uh, get under it. Last one, PV Sindhu. She did everything right in that rally, except for the last shot. My Chin Cheng here, the uh, coach of uh, Tai Chi Ying. Thumbs up. Well, for the point, perhaps. Yeah, it was a little awkward, wasn't it? By the time yeah. she got there, it was dipping well below the level of the net. Yeah, fantastic touch by, uh, by Tai Chi. Play it that close. If she loses Seven. this match, she's going to have nightmares about those little Tai Chi Ying drop shots. They have really caused her a big problem in this match so far. Just never getting there. Oh, and the problem is that when, when Tai controls these rallies, then Sindhu is spending a lot of energy. around the court. It's a good break of shot. Excellent play by uh, Tai Chi Ying and um, I'm starting to doubt that uh, Sindhu has enough um, speed of movement to uh, prolong the rallies long enough to get an advantage here. Well, we've only been playing for half an hour, but some of these points, really energy sapping from Sindhu's point of view, 
being dragged in, pushed back. Tai Su Ying enjoying the momentum at the moment. Once again, really making Sindhu scramble. And then misses what was a, a pretty presentable opportunity there. Over. Eight, ten. You still get the feeling that it really wouldn't take very much to turn this match around. Well, it's a little bit on a racer's edge if, um, if Sindhu can um, up the sharpness a little bit more, take the time away from uh, Tai Su Ying so she can't use all her deceptive shots, then um, there is a chance, but. Uh, Oh, well, made it. There's too many of those from PB Sindhu. Well, that's a great way for her to go to the interval off the back of that shot. We did see her, though, in the first game, just tense up a little bit towards the business end of it, nearly let Sindhu back in. We'll see whether history's going to repeat. Well, there's a, there's a statement of intent. First point back from the interval. Arrow straight down the line. Just gets the lead slightly wrong. She gets punished just like that. Also got retrieval from tight. Well, she's going to challenge it. I don't think we a great deal of 
chance of success, but we'll have Hawkeye make the adjudication for the first time today. Each woman gets two challenges per game. They keep them if they're correct, but I don't think she's going to get any joy here. We'll see what the technology says. It was called out, and it was well out. this by a long way. Just about on the doubles line there. Yeah. Such great hands around the net. Set up the easy kill with another one of those killer drop shots. And Sindhu really stretching just to put it back over the net. Defense. Excellent dot by uh, Tassi Ying there. Good leave. A defensive shot on uh, Sindhu's big smash there. That was really, really accurate. Good shot quality. Had too much time to think about that. In the end, dumped it into the net. Bit of a bonus point that for Sindhu. Excellent judgment again. Sindhu wants it looked at, but again, I think the line judge has got this call correct. See what Hawkeye says about it. Pace, then it's now because this is uh, dire straits. for Taishi Ying in terms of her quest for the elusive uh, World Championship title if she can uh, finish this match in uh, straight games. Conserve energy. Oh, brilliant again. That has been a definitive shot in this match. Advantage every time she's used it. And now it looks a near certainty.
So many help for steroids creeping into Sindhu's game. Seven match points. 20 match to get Tai Zhu Ying into the 30. World Championship semi finals. She's been fantastic. Yeah. Just needed one. A dominant display in that second game, 21 13. The match taking just 41 minutes. And Sindhu rather capitulating to a dominant Tai Zhu Ying. She's never won a World Championship medal. That may well change in the next couple of days. Strangely out of sorts, PV Sindhu in that second game particularly. Not a mutual respect between these two, but today it was Tai Zhu Ying's day. 21 17, 21 13, job done in 41 minutes on court. Well, we're going to switch to the men next. A quarterfinal singles, Kadambi Srikanth against Mark Kalyu in just a moment. Very warm welcome back to the Carolina Marin Sports Palace on quarterfinals day here in sunny southern Spain. Dominant display already from the women's world number one, Tai Ying. We're going to switch.